Impressive, right? In that minute intro, I essentially went through the process of measuring my car's power output. Now let me show you how you can do the same with your car step by step. Hey guys, Christian here, and no, I am not lying. You can actually measure how much power your car makes by simply using a mobile app. I think the part that shocked me the most was how accurate it was. For those of you guys that don't have a dyno around your house, or maybe you just don't wanna pay dyno money, this is a perfect alternative since you can check out the power of your car practically anywhere you're at, and for super cheap too. The name of the mobile app is called Log Dyno. It measures your car's horsepower and torque using a CSV data log, along with data that's specific to your car. Anyways, let's go for a drive, and I'll explain further. Watch this whole video if you're really interested in doing this with your car. It may seem like a simple app that magically just tells you how much power your car has, but it's not quite that easy. It's a powerful tool, but you need to input the proper information and follow the exact procedure. So if you're really interested in doing this the right way, make sure you watch all of this video to ensure that you get correct measurement. What's really cool about this app, unlike some of the other apps that I've talked about here on this channel that are primarily for BMW cars, this one actually works on all cars. And like I was saying earlier, the only thing that you need for Log Dino to properly measure the power output of your car is one, a CSV log with RPM information, and two, your vehicle information, which I'll tell you exactly what information you need in a little bit. So the question is, how do you get a CSV file that has RPM log included? There's a lot of platforms out there that allow you to generate that information. There's companies like JB4, MHD and Pro Tool. Today I'll be using a very popular tuning app that's used widely on the 335i and it's called MHD. I'll use that application to generate a CSV file and then we'll go ahead and transfer it over to Log Dino so we can see exactly how much power my car is making. And if you own a 335i and you haven't heard of MHD, I highly suggest you check that out. I even made a video breaking down the entire application you can get on Android and I gained over 100 wheel horsepower using that application. I'll link the video down in the description below if you guys wanna check that out. So here's how you get a CSV file using MHD. Once you're at the main menu, all you have to do is navigate to the monitor tab and select either manual log or auto log. Manual allows you to control when MHD starts data logging and auto starts logging once it detects throttle input at 60% or more. For this example, I'll be using auto logging for ease of use. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to be on third gear turn traction control completely off so you're not limited want to be at 2500 rpm in my case i'm also going to turn off the ac and then you floor it now go back to mhd and under the monitor tab select graphy log and you should see a newly generated csv file and that's it now i got a csv data log now i just have to open it up on log dino put my vehicle information and we'll get a reading on how much power my car makes. I had the AC off for a few seconds and that's it. And I almost freaking died. Central Florida is so damn hot. I gotta say guys, the exhaust sounds so good with the catalyst downpipes. It's quiet when you want it to be, but once you floor it, it gets loud enough. And the exhaust burbles you get when you use MHD, oh, it's to die for. Watch, listen. <laughs> notice but the shifts are much faster than a stock BMW 335i with an automatic transmission by using an application called XHP. I'll show you how quick it is. I'll do a few upshifts and a few downshifts as well. These are upshifts right here. And now for some downshifts. You hear those burbles, baby? I don't know if you guys can see it on video up here, but uh, the roof line into the convertible is hanging. It got damaged, so I gotta get it fixed. Uh, just in case you guys were wondering what the hell's going on up there. At this point, you guys are probably thinking, well, shouldn't you take your car to a real dyno so then you can compare the results correctly? Here's the thing. I did take my car to a dyno the last time I tuned my 335i. It was at Eurocharge Orlando, and I even made an episode on it. Oh. 
And since then, nothing's really changed with the 335i. I have the same performance mods. The only thing that I've changed that was like a major upgrade were the wheels, which they're actually lighter than the 18 inch wheels that I had before. And even the weather today is pretty similar to the day that I got the car dynoed. So the comparison between log dyno and the actual dyno at Eurocharge Orlando should be fair. All right, let's open up dyno log so I can show you how it all works. Pressing the gear icon on the bottom right will take you over to settings where you can adjust settings such as how power data is presented to you, whether it's power to the wheels or to the crank. In this menu, you'll also find a user guide, which I'll link down in the description below if you guys want to take a look. Moving one menu over to the clipboard icon is where you'll be able to add your car. Once you've added a new car, head over to the car icon towards the bottom left. Remember earlier when I said you'll need to input your car data? Well, this is where you do it. To demonstrate, I'll fill out my car's info. For the name, I'll just title it E93 BMW 335i. Next, for the weight, my car weighs 3,946 pounds, and yes, I know, that's one heavy car. Gas tank capacity is 16.1 gallons. Tire size is a little tricky since I'm running staggered tire sizes, but according to the user guide, it says in this situation, just choose either. So what I'll do is I'll input the front tire info of 235, 35, 19. Next is the gear ratio for my specific car. I was able to find my car's gear ratio easily with a simple Google search. All right, that's primarily what you're going to need as far as vehicle information goes. Moving on to the last menu with the meter icon. Under additional weight, I'll just put 180 pounds, which is around how much I weigh. If you have any luggage or extra heavy stuff in the car, I would add that weight as well. My gas tank percentage is sitting at around 75%. Next, we are going to open a CSV log and locate the data log I generated from MHD earlier. Here, I'll select the most recent CSV file and select open. You're immediately forwarded to corrections where you can manually put the weather of when the CSV file was created, or you can just click current weather at the top of the page and it'll automatically select the present weather information. And last thing to do is select calculate. My result ended up being 401 horsepower and 556 pound feet of torque to the wheels, which is pretty close to the readings I got when I took my 335i to an actual dyno. Log dyno also allows you to see your optimal shift points, save and compare different results and even share them with pretty much any app. Guys, isn't that awesome? that with a mobile app you can check how much power your car makes all you got to do is download log dyno enter your car's information and bam you can see how much power your car makes practically anywhere by the way this video is not sponsored by log dyno i just feel like it was a really cool and useful app and i really wanted to share it with you guys that said i will have affiliate links down in the description below if you are interested in getting this application for either ios or android obtaining log dyno via those links will help support my channel i really do hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching Till next time.